What up, family, man? It's your boy, SN, man. I definitely, man, want to say that I applaud that boy, Cat Williams, man. Um, I feel like, man, dude, bold and he brave for getting on, you know, Shannon Sharp platform and saying that thing that he said. Some stuff need to be said, and to be honest, man, a lot of the stuff that he said was well overdue. You ever wonder, like, you may see somebody in Hollywood, right? An actor or um, a rapper, a singer. You may see them and then next day, you know, they just disappear. A lot of times these rappers, these singers, and these actors, they disappear because behind the scenes, there's a lot of stuff going on that they just not with. You know what I'm saying? We seen where Dave Chappelle left and stayed gone for 10 years and then came back and he was talking about you know, some of the stuff that went on. But one thing that went on, man, was them trying to put him in a dress, man. They trying to emasculate him. And when Cat Williams was talking about, you know, the black, you know, black dudes being in dresses and selling out and all that, the said entertainers and uh, Kevin Hart's and, you know, uh, uh, Steve Harvey's. And they, I went to looking up the pictures and looking up the movies and stuff. Wesley Snipes, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, I had an epiphany, bro. It's like, damn, that's crazy. In order for, normally, in order for a black man to really get on and really make it to that next level, he got to put a dress on. You know what I'm saying? And then I went to thinking about, you know, the black people. As far as like the actors and the comedians and stuff that never emasculated themselves to get to a superior position. And I couldn't come up with many. I came up with Cat Williams and I came up with Denzel. And I was thinking about, you know, Samuel L. Jackson, but I remember he had that kilt on that one movie. And you know, a kilt is basically like a fucking dress. You know what I'm saying? Or a skirt or whatever you want to call it. And I was like, damn, man, I'm talking about the Will Smith. I'm talking about Ving Reigns. I'm talking about The Rock, Kevin Hart, like all of them. I said the entertainer, Deion Sutton, man, any one of them that you could think of, man, at some point in their career, Vin Diesel, they put a fucking dress on. So it make you think, like, why is it so important, man, that these actors have to put these dresses on? You know what I'm saying? Why is this such a big thing? Think about it. You got people like Tyler Perry. Um, Who else? Even Martin. Martin really came up. You know, he had the TV show. He was playing a lot of roles. But him, um, him like, Shanae playing roles like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit really took Martin to another level. Um, Tyler Perry playing Madea, man. That took Tyler Perry to a whole nother level. And, you know, I'm not necessarily saying that all of these guys that, that put on these dresses is, you know, batting for the, for the other team. But what I'm saying is I do believe that it's a, it's a kind of uh, humiliation ritual that they have to got there. They have to go through. If they don't go through this process, then they'll never reach – certain heights you know what i'm saying and this is why i feel like cat williams didn't make it didn't go as far as say uh, uh kevin hart because kevin hart came straight out and straight up and went straight to the top you know what i'm saying like cat williams was saying bro who does that what do they do that at so it's like damn but cat williams he been one of my favorite uh comedians for a while man him and mike epps man like they like my two favorite comedians, Bernie Mac, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. But uh, yeah, man, I think it's crazy, but I think it's bold also, man. Shout out to uh Shannon Sharp too, man. You know he coming with the he 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 boosting the platform up, man. He he got it he got it going crazy over there, man. But um, yeah, man, it's, it's a, it was a lot of stuff I, I didn't know. He opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. Like I was watching the Kings of Comedy the other day. And before I had seen this, uh, before I had seen the interview, I did not know said the entertainer stole that joke from Cat Williams. Man, that's crazy because that was like one of my favorite jokes out of the whole Kings of Comedy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I guess it's a lot of stuff you'll never know, man, if you're not behind the scenes. But 
Just remember this, y'all. Most of the time, it's never what it looks like. Y'all only see the finished product of something. You know, y'all don't see everything that's going on behind the scenes. And this is a perfect example of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't see all of the evil shit that's going on behind the scenes. Like, this shit that's going on with Diddy. Like, a lot of this, like, people been saying Diddy was, you know, he was funny or whatever. But it's a lot of shit come out, coming out dealing with Diddy, man. And honestly speaking, I believe most of it because everybody's saying this shit. People ain't just, everybody just not saying this shit. 50 been saying this shit. Cat Williams been talking about this shit. I'm talking about for years, decades. Like, niggas been talking about how Diddy was. I remember Future was talking about the shit. Like, everybody. But Diddy got a certain status and he got a certain amount of money that, you know, you don't want to play with. Diddy's a powerful person. But at the same time, man, hey. Like I said, you know. um, They say that the greatest trick that the devil ever did was convincing the world that he didn't exist and that's some real shit real talk man <laughs> y'all man y'all stay tuned man i'm definitely back and i'm definitely gonna be dropping man y'all stay tuned i got some hot shit coming i'm gonna try to um finish it up this weekend if i don't it's gonna be coming early next week it's your boy sn come on